So that's some of the uh, useful features of the way that the on-location material uh, came into uh, Premiere and the relationship that we were talking about when we were in on-location, looking at how those clips were being broken up uh, because of the uh, work we had already done in Adobe Story. So you're starting to see how this efficient sort of integrated workflow that really does take us from script and then it kind of moves us smoothly into the shooting and the ingestion and now into the editing process. So one other thing in, the, in Premiere here that I want to show you before we go too much further is that within Premiere itself, up in uh, the upper right hand corner here, you'll notice there's a CS Live button. And if I go ahead and I click on the CS Live button, it'll bring this drop-down menu down. And now within Premiere Pro itself, we can go directly to Adobe Story. And since Adobe Story is a web-based uh, application, as we were working with earlier, it just, from within the program, opens up our browser. And we now are looking at the breakdown, our project breakdown, that we set up when we were in Adobe Story originally. And I keep working on these back and forth as you will as well um, you know over time I, I often forget I'm even in a web application because they talk to each other so seamlessly that it really feels like I'm using this you know one app um, but yet that's that streamlining that we keep stressing is that that metadata is from the script and allows it to flow all the way through I'm not going to spend the time right now and go through uh, setting up since we saw earlier how to set up the bios. I just wanted to demonstrate that not only would we be setting up these bios that we did earlier in projects, you know, in the um, story structure, we can also go back in if we make story changes and either add other ones or even open an existing one. And if I open the existing one, you'll see the ones that we created earlier for the character, in this case, Paladin. And you notice that here's all that information that we've been using to search for. And again, even though this is script information, when we jump back into Premiere here in a second, you'll see how I could do a search for any piece of information that's in here, and it's going to know to take me directly to that character, to that clip, because all of this bio information is metadata. We see it as a script. The system and this integrated workflow, this streamlined workflow that we've been talking about, actually sees it as a relationship between any word, a character uh, that has been shot and the actual dialogue that we saw with the speech analytics when we were going through the conversions uh, with on location. So here's just one more example. If I come back to projects, I can do the same thing within um, any of the heroes. I also can, it's probably important to show, right now we're still just dealing with this one script. But if I come up to import, for instance, let's say there was an update. So in this case, there was a final script because our original uh, breakdown was done with the first script. So in this case, I have a final script that, a, uh, that the writer was doing. If I go ahead and I bring in the final script, one of the great things about metadata, it's just going to go through here quickly and import it, is that the metadata is trackable. So we'll be able to do a relationship between the new script, our edit, and the way we assembled it based on the old script and we don't even have to do the actual editing. It will ripple through and create the updates because it has all that metadata of character locations that we created earlier based on all this keyword information. Uh, when you import the script in, as we saw, uh, it brought us directly into the authoring mode that we had looked at earlier. But if I come back to the projects mode so I can show you the relationship, now within the script structure we have the original script that we were working with that we ingested, and now we have the final script that we're working with as well. We have all the character bios that we've created, plus the new one that we would have added from the editorial process, and at any time I can pop back to Premiere, I'll come back down here, and we'll watch this relationship that we create in making changes in the script and how that relationship is working with Premiere Pro and the clips because even within the clips as we were looking at earlier the naming conventions are tied directly to the shots uh, descriptions that we had in on location which were tied directly from the information that we had within the script 